Hey, what's going on, Beowulf Nation? It's on Beowulf back at it with another video. Getting ready to hook up the trailer to go jet ski riding, but I want to share one thing first before I post the next video with this. This is kind of something that uh, if you have a jet ski and there's a state of emergency, your jet ski comes into a win. Uh, if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Existing subscribers, hit the bell notification to get notified as soon as the video is uploaded. Also, too, check out my Amazon store, amazon.com slash shop slash I am Beowulf. Also, too, check out the I am Beowulf merch at IamBeowulf.com. Now, you guys might have seen on the news, it didn't affect everywhere, but it affected around here. And it's still, it's gone on over a week and we still got some little issues on fuel and fuel stations. So they had a hack. Uh, it, there's one main pipeline for bringing fuel for like the whole East Coast, which is affected wave states in. It wasn't just the coastline. And uh, luckily I was smart. I filled up my fuel jugs. Um, and then I filled this thing up. Now, what we're not gonna talk about is just having fuel jugs, which it is definitely a plus having uh, fuel jugs at home um, because what a lot of people don't realize when the, the fuel stations get low on fuel, it's the bottom it goes, the worst fuel is coming in. Now, it's one thing with your car getting in there, or your truck, it's okay, because it's easy to change a fuel filter. I mean, when you got something like a jet ski, you don't want to be putting bad fuel, even when it says it's premium, when it gets low. I also heard it from a couple gas stations, too, them telling people once it gets low, it's just going to be really bad. Fuel, so this is not me, I'm telling you because of the people who run the fuel stations. Now, when you're looking at this, you, hey, I got really nice fuel jugs right here. They're safe being in the garage. I don't smell any odor of fuel in here. I do have a fan that I would kick on if I started doing it, no, or I'd be using it when I'm trying to air out the ski, which is in the process of what it's doing like this. When I'm not riding, I take the seats off and let everything have airflow coming through it. But, I've seen people where they're filling up fuel with plastic bags and like a container like this, which is totally crazy because like how are you going to pour it? Dirt's going to get in there. Again, what I'm getting at when you're, you don't want to put dirty fuel in any type of vehicle that's running on uh, any diesel or, or gasoline. I call it, you can call it petrol. Let's call it petrol. So, um, now the cool thing is this thing has a really big tank. Now, if you don't have the fuel jugs, right? Because I know right now, that most of the time, I could guarantee you right now, going to ride jet ski, maybe one or two gas stations, if that on the way, might even have fuel. So basically this fuel, I didn't buy just for my cars possibly, but knowing if I want to go jet skiing, this thing has a full tank. I, got, I can do a couple more rides with with the gallons, those are each a five gallon jug. I got stuff like that too on my Amazon store, amazon.com slash shop slash I'm Beowulf, but I'm gonna tell you what something's really cool what you can do with your jet ski storm fuel, which is I think even more safer than the fuel jugs. So basically you fill this thing up, the, the night when I heard all these pumps, like I literally pulled up to a gas station right when they're gonna be shutting off everything, saying they ran out of fuel, filled this thing up, now there's a siphon pump. Again, that's on my Amazon store, amazon.com slash shop slash I am Beowulf. I'm not gonna show you guys how to do all that because I don't need to do it because I'm actually using this. But you'd have this manual pump and you put a line down there. And the cool thing is you could pull up right next to your car, or your truck, right next to your jet ski and just take fuel from here and put it right in your vehicle. Or if you were in a worst case scenario that you couldn't drive but you needed a generator, for running uh, electricity at your house. That's another thing you can do too. Um, so that's kind of what the really cool thing I think about jet skis that most people wouldn't think about. They're just a giant mobile fuel storage that you can be using during a disaster. Let's say too, if um, you're on a road trip, you run out of fuel and you have that cypher pump, you could do that even on the road. It's the, like literally you're driving around a fuel tanker. <laughs> <laughs> All jokes aside, but it, it literally almost is like that. It's, it's enough that you could siphon it, put it in there, and almost have, if not, or more, a full tank of gas in your vehicle pulling it. Now, if you have a diesel truck and you're pulling jet skis, that won't work. <laughs> that won't work. 
But with this, it's definitely a cool thing. And I figured to share that because most people wouldn't think of that. I've always known that from the start when we had Hurricane Florence. I had the jet skis, they had full tanks of gas. If I needed it, I could have siphoned it out. But the only way you're going to get out is if you have the siphon pump. Now, the siphon pump comes when they're new, all packaged up. You can reuse it a bunch of times, but you want to make sure it's stored clean, no like dirt and stuff on it. It's actually in my other garage where I have that at. And um, yeah, I figured to share this because most people wouldn't think about that. And I think it's super cool. And then, um, you know, be safe out there because I, everything by now, everything's going to be back to normal soon. But, uh, you know, in the future, it's probably going to happen again kind of thing, you know. So uh, be prepared. And uh, I figured the shares, but I want to go out jet skiing. It's a super nice day. And uh, let's get out riding. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's short but sweet. And uh, definitely gets you guys that upper hand in a disaster situation. Uh, where you're not in a, a tragic moment of not knowing what to do and Beowulf came in for the win to tell you what to do to save the day. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Existing subscribers, hit the bell notification. You get notified as soon as that video is uploaded. Also, too, check out that Amazon store. Amazon.com slash shop slash I am Beowulf and the I am Beowulf merch, which I got in right now. I am Beowulf.com. Be driven to win. Remember, every day is Earth Day. Stay mighty and keep strong.